Hey guys, Josh from Desperate for Wild here. Uh, today we're going to be teaching you how to do a the rear hatch storage modification. Uh, there's been a few different companies that have made uh, different hatch systems that you can work so you can use the rear tailgate as storage. Uh, but for us, because we're kind of on a budget for this trip, we've, we're doing a little bit of a DIY one. So we're going to teach you guys how to do that today. So the first thing that you're wanting to do is you obviously drop the hatch and you'd have your tools together. So for this, we're going to need to have a uh, jigsaw with a, a metal bit or metal blade, sorry, so that we can cut through the gate. Uh, we ended up actually getting some of these hatches off Amazon. They are just like a, a marine hatch. So they kind of open up. There are a few companies that do make hatches for this. They are about, I believe they're about 500 US. And we actually ended up getting both of these for about $100 Canadian. So it saves us a good chunk of money. And essentially what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be cutting two compartments into here so we can utilize the tailgate and these bins here for uh, storage for just different recovery gear and different stuff that we don't need every single day. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need to have uh, whatever you're using for your gate cover. You'll need to have metal saw blades, a jigsaw, like I said, a drill. Uh, we bought some self-capping screws and then um, a template Painter's tape is helpful. I also have some uh, weather stripping just because I wanted to try and make sure that these are fully sealed. And then personally for Vanessa and I, what we're gonna do, we're actually going to put bed liner under the tailgate afterwards just to kind of help prevent um, wear and tear on the tailgate because it's just gonna be raw metal. So we wanna prevent that from happening as well. First things first, uh, you need to take off the cover that comes on the tailgate. So there should just be some plastic clips. Can just pop off they're pretty easy to remove and the whole thing just comes off in one piece and then you'll have your whole tailgate so what mess and i have decided as well and what you'll need to do as well is figure out one how you'll want to do this i believe the kits that you can buy they utilize the entire tailgate but for us, I was just kind of thinking as like, I don't need that big of space, as well as I kind of like the idea that I can kind of tuck some stuff underneath the previous gate that's here and don't have to open the whole thing at once. So we're gonna do two different compartments, uh, one on the right, one on the left. So the next thing that you need to do that's very important is you need to figure out your placement of where you would like these, uh, how high, how low you'd like to go, and where it's not gonna interfere once the hatch is opened and closed for whatever's gonna work best for you. Uh, one thing to uh, keep in mind when you're doing this there is the mechanism for uh, the handle on the back that is inside of here. So a thing that I'd recommend is before you start, take all of these hatches off, figure out where that is, and then do your markings to figure out where exactly it is that you want to go. It's also not a bad idea to uh, take the painter's tape, close up the hatch, figure out where the hatch lies, so that way you don't go too low with it, and then you end up blocking the hatch, and therefore you just kind of ruined your whole tailgate. So that's what we're going to do right now. Try and keep all the screws if you can, because that's going to be what we're trying to find later. Uh, both these hatches are the ones that we'll be removing, so we don't really need these as much anymore. Uh, this one, definitely keep intact. Uh, again, if you're doing the full hatch, you don't really need to worry about it, but for us, because we're only doing the two, this is something definitely not to mess up. So put these to the side. and then uh, figure out where the hatch is gonna be once it's fully closed. So what we've done as well, uh, so we have now measured kind of where the outside of the um, latch will be to figure out where it will be once it's closed. And then as well, we've also figured out where the internal mechanisms will be once the hatch is in, because you wanna avoid cutting those out. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to take it out, but to be honest, I just don't really want to. So we've measured that all out. We've measured the outside of what, where the hole will actually be because with these, you can see they need to be tapped in. So we just measured the uh, outside of this hole. Measure that out. So now we're gonna start drilling and then we're gonna start cutting. And hopefully this works out.
after you have pre-drilled the hole, you'll then take your metal blade on your jigsaw and you start cutting. Uh, let's get to our safety glasses. So yeah. Now that that's cut out, now you uh, test fit it. So, not unexpected. I did not get it the first try. <laughs> so now you kind of fine tune it, shape the corners down and get it to be where you exactly you need it to be. You want to take a file and you want to smooth off the edges because it will be quite coarse. So you want to smooth that off just so you don't cut yourself later in the future. After you're done filing everything, you want to take some paint and you want to spray the edge of this because that's raw metal. So if you leave it raw, uh, it could start to rust. So if you just put some paint over it, uh, for us, it doesn't really matter because it's going to be covered anyways. But this way, it just kind of helps prevent that from rusting in the future. dry and then we'll get ready to actually install the lid. And then after you have both the holes cut, you filed everything down and then you painted the edges. Uh, then tape off all the components you don't want to get covered in paint. So like we covered off uh, where the mechanism is inside, we just painted the edges and then now you can bedline the whole thing. After uh, the bed liner dries, you can then remove the tape that was kind of blocked off the areas that you didn't want to get covered in. So just obviously be gentle with this because sometimes it can start to peel up because with rock art it is a little bit thicker. So just be gentle with it just to make sure that it doesn't. Although you may have a couple spots that start to. Okay, then after uh, your rock guard dries and all the paint dries, then you can kind of start putting the trim pieces back in. And this line everything up. step you do not have to do this but I'm just gonna put weather strip all the way around ours just to kind of help keep dust and everything out from inside of the cabins uh, obviously it's never gonna be perfect just because this is an old vehicle there is gonna be little spots for air to get into I just am very particular so figured you may as well just do it rather than having to take it out and do it again down the road
tapping screws, and then start to tack this all in so it can be in place where you want it to be. And then, after all that, now you have storage compartment and your real tailgate with uh, boat latches. And you saved yourself like four or five hundred bucks. So, kind of worth it. So, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope some of you were able to find this helpful and maybe get something out of this. But I really appreciate it. Hope you have a great one. See you next time.